do uh, ice mining in Mackinac Corpus and my ethanol using also an MTU. Uh, this is a fresh field. I've taken screenshots here and here of two different fields looking exactly the same with uh, all the scanners, uh, survey scanners, sorry, uh, and gotten all the field in the survey scans. Uh, they always spawn the exact same way, exact same orientation, blah blah blah, everything. Uh, it's pretty dependable. I'll link it in the uh, uh, both links in the YouTube video. Uh, now, I put myself at about, I use Q, and I just went 20, 20 that way, and 20 that way. Um, and I got myself a position above. Uh, the furthest I am is 30 clicks from one of the Macs, and that Mac is 10 kilometers below the, the central layer crust I use for orientation for my guys. And I'll warp everybody to that, and I'll just queue everybody. This guy's 10 clicks above. This guy's 10 clicks below. Uh, and I'll use Q when I'm going that way. I'll use Q and then just go in the leak on the horizontal uh, away from, of course, the uh, warp in point. Because, you know, why would you want to go close to the warp in point? Uh, so there we go. That's, enough. That's my fourth one. So we're pretty equidistant. I can think I can no, I'm just out of range of the we're out of the range. Well let's see this guy in range. Yep. Yep, barely. <laughs> but yeah, I mean the way I've got it got it set up is everything's in range. And I'll be able to strip this uh, field if given it enough time. I mean honestly I, I mean, how long would it take me? Jesus. Uh, I haven't done the math yet, but I will. Um, easy enough to do. Uh, I've got uh, 20.9 meters, uh, cubic meters per second, for just one, and I've got eight harvesters going. So that's uh, yeah, quite a bit. Don't do math on really well. So yeah, I'll I'll, I'll get that for you. And I usually jettison at 15. You'll notice I'm not mining any glare at first. I'm going to get the ratio from the screenshots. I'll get the ratio of uh, glare to clear and say, hey, after you've mined X number of icicles, totally go for this amount uh, ratio of uh, glare crust. I mean, glare crust is, you know, one glare crust is equal to 95 clear icicle units. Um, a couple units here. Um, for ozone content. So yeah, you don't have to go greedy on uh, glare crust at all. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, post the numbers in the YouTube video and of course on my Discord server and I'll link it to Exidium. So yeah, this is how you do it, nice and slow. Mackinac's have a huge ore hold, uh, allows you to watch local a lot more. like you do with the other videos. This is my technique to identifying my guys as rapidly as possible without having to look way up here. I've been playing this game for 15 years. I'm not going to look up in that corner. Jesus.
couple of times, I just popped my infiltrators, uh, got my overheated uh, burst jammers ready to go. Uh, of course, that means I have to turn off my safeties. Have I turned off my safeties and all my guys? Yes. I also have a really good directional scanner with the customized uh, overview that allows me to overlook uh, exhumers and mining barges. Of course you don't want to overlook expedition frigates because that's just silly. But yeah, it clears up your uh, directional scanner and you can use it while at the same time you're... yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? Yeah, anyways, I like that. And oh, of course I try to spread out my uh, crystals as much as possible. I mean, not the crystals, but uh, harvesters. Uh, wag, hello. Uh, try to modify that a bit, so that's fine. Need a bit of work. But we're doing good. I mean, it's four Mackinaws, and it's not really important. Alright, there you go. Yeah, nice, slow, easy work. A lot of patience. Oh no, I'm in low sec, yay. So the idea here is to use my guys uh, in the most optimal fashion by having lasers not turn off and not get anything. So that's why I try to target individual droids with each of my lasers. It's a good practice for pretty much anything, and especially um, icicle mining, because it takes so long and you don't get partial loads. So, yeah, let's, not, uh, let's not go there with inefficiency. Yeah, so that's the layout. And I'm taking this video mostly so I can remember what the hell I was doing and where I go, but I think I made it pretty simple. Uh, pretty tight on the, uh, the Nadir uh, one, so as long as I, yeah, uh, yeah, because I'm at, if I'm at 20, that should be out of range, and yeah, so I'll have to be a wee bit careful. Maybe I'll probably rethink the position of the porpoise just to make sure I don't drift out of range and not notice for a while. Yeah. Alright, so that's about it. I think we covered everything. It's pretty simple. Do -do -do -do. This is the only vulnerability. Uh, I should really stagger my uh, ore holds. So I've got, you know, this got absolute ton of room. So I could do a spread of four. I could, again, I, said f I could have four in one, four in this guy, eight in the other, 12 in this guy, and 16 in here. And I could totally just, just jettison when it gets to 16 jettison when it gets 16 and yada yada and that would mean less jet cans in space because it takes a wee bit you'll notice to jet can everything
and if you stagger your launches you can be more certain of being able to capture all the ice and scooping the tractor because if you're full and you can't get that last bit of icicle it's going to be in that tractor beam so it's going to be hard to scoop especially if pirates just happen to come in during this entire operation here right there pretty vulnerable window there so ideally I'd like to cut it down yeah that's 